Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part two for this news report today. I should only have two parts for today. My website is ggnonline.com if you're new. And also on YouTube, my channels are ddarko2012 and ddarko2013. You can check out all these stories I'm covering in YouTube's description. All the links will be there. All right, I'll go back to eugenics in this video. The UN approves radiation advice from December 10th says they're able to adopt advice on radiation that clarifies what can be used about its health effects on individuals and large population. The report has found no observable health effects from last year's nuclear accident in Fukushima. Presenting to the UN General Assembly, the uh, UN Sears Chair said that preliminary findings were that no radiation health effects had been observed in Japan among the public workers or children in the area of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. This is in line with the studies already published by the World uh, Death Organization and Tokyo University that showed that uh, people near the damaged power plant received such low doses of radiation that no discernible health effect could be expected. They're going to go down here and define radiation risk, just like everything else they'll say. What? Uh, in low doses, it's, there's a safe, healthy dose of radiation. Uh, who downplayed health effects of nuclear crisis on Fukushima residents, says German physician from the December, from December 16th. German doctor, and member of a Nobel, Nobel Prize-winning physicians group, has criticized the World Death Organization report on the Fukushima nuclear catastrophe for underestimating its impact on human health. The report, quote, seems to suggest a certain safety while omitting the important information that the risk of developing cancer and other radiation-induced diseases increases proportionally to the amount of radioactive exposure. The most flawed aspect of the WHO report is its apparent lack of neutrality. It further asserted that the report reflects an effort to downplay the effects of the disaster. Remember this from back in April of 2011, the EPA was raising the limits for radiation exposure while Canada turns off its fallout detectors. These protective action guides are quickly uh, revised to radically increase the allowable levels of iodine-131, a radioactive isotope, to anywhere from 3,000 to 100,000 times their current allowable levels. And another, they keep asking this question, and it's pretty obvious, I think, but uh, it says, are U.S. munitions to blame for the Basra birth defects? I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen the pictures. If you haven't, you know, check them out of uh, all these birth defects that are going on in Iraq. Uh, Post-invasion, 2003 invasion, the guns have been silent in Iraq for years, but in Basra and Fallujah, the number of birth defects and cancer cases is on the rise. Locals believe, see, Locals believe that the American uranium tip munitions are to blame, and some researchers think they might be right. So it says here, you think uh, this old man was drunk, or maybe he had been reading too many Greek myths, but he doesn't read anything, especially books, nor does he drink alcohol. In fact, he says he saw creatures he describes with his own eyes. Some had only one eye in the forehead or two heads. One had a tail like a skin lamb. Another looked like a perfectly normal child, but with a monkey's face or the girl whose leg had grown together, half fish, half human. It isn't just that the number of cancer cases suddenly increased. We also had double and triple cancers, that is, uh, patients with tumors on both kidneys and in the stomach. Also, there's familiar uh, clusters, that is, entire families that were infected, says he is convinced that this relates to the use of uranium ammunition. They say there is a connection between cancer and radiation. Sometimes it takes 10 to 20 years before the consequences manifest themselves. A paper links nerve agents and 91 Gulf War and ailments from December 13th says a reviving a 20-year debate over illnesses of veterans in the 91 Gulf War. A new scientific paper presents evidence that nerve agents released by the bombing of Iraqi chemical weapons depots just before the ground war began could have carried downwind and fallen on American troops staged in Saudi Arabia. So it says the paper published in the journal tries to rebut the long-standing Pentagon position uh, supported by many scientists that neurotoxins, particularly serum gas, could not have carried far enough to sicken American forces. On the same topic, Erie, Lake Erie and Lake Ontario uh, fare worst in the study of Great Lakes, Lake Superior relatively clean in comparison. A three-year environmental study has produced a color-coded map of the Great Lakes with Ontario and Erie clearly under the most stress from a hodgepodge of factors. It says one big culprit of those two lakes, however, is fertilizer. 
runoff from farms, says a University of Michigan researcher citing some of the heaviest loads of phosphorus in North America. Now look at this here, dude. This picture. A surfer walks into the cold waves on Lake Ontario at the Toronto Beach. I've seen Lake Michigan because, like I said, I grew up near Chicago. I've never seen these other lakes up close. Now that's dirty, man. Lake Michigan, at least it's you know somewhat blue. That looks like dirt brown. Uh, someone in the comment board said those are the two main suppliers of U.S. drinking water. It's interesting because they go on and they say Lake Superior fares the best along with Lake Michigan. Uh, but like what they said in the comment boards, you know, every, they're all connected. So they flow into each other and the pollution spreads. Downstream gets worse. So, yeah, it's uh, most of it's probably coming from Lake Michigan and all this stuff around there. I find it funny how people from Chicago, um, they still say it to this day. Oh, you know, Chicago, Lake Michigan, we have the, we're, we were uh, told that we have the best water, the best drinking water, tap water um, in America. You know, that's how they tout it. And I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, it's probably the most fluoridated water in America. And I never knew this, but I, apparently there was this uh, Cuyahoga River fire of 1969. So I guess apparently the officials there buried this story, they said it was strictly a run-of-the-mill fire, uh, but it was just so toxic and filled with uh, uh, pollutants that it's set on fire. Half of all British men will uh, be likely to develop cancer by the year 2027. 50% by 2027 are going to have cancer. It says the risk of developing cancer in a lifetime will rise from 44% to 50% in 15 years' time. Uh, the forms that will mostly affect people would be skin cancer, bowel cancer, and prostate cancer. And cancer is a big business, right? The charity said one positive aspect of the bleak projections was that proportionally fewer people are likely to be dying off of cancers thanks to improved methods of diagnosis and treatment. Very expensive treatment, too. Um, cancer survival rates have doubled over the past 40 years. Remember that uh, study that we just covered recently, which said that... Um, I'm not sure if it was Americans, but people are living, yeah, Americans are living longer, but uh, they're more sick. So that's good for the eugenicists. The pension, and there's a pharma complex in that. The pension delusion, unless you work longer and live more frugally, you won't be retiring in comfort, says Mandarin, uh, who's on 200,000 pounds a year. So he was clear that the pension age would have to rise in the coming years, but the public had not faced up to this. Sir Bob uh, Kerslake, who will benefit from a gold-plated uh, final salary pension funded by the taxpayer, said he believed ministers had failed to have an honest debate with the public about the issue. Remember what I was mentioning before about the, um, the one of the individuals from the UK congressmen or whatever they call them out there, politicians, wanted to have pensioner, uh, people that are on pensions. They got me saying that word. People that are on pensions, retired retirees. Uh, work for their pensions as they've already paid into it. In order to collect it, you have to keep working. So, um, and the other thing is that word pensioner. It really dehumanizes people when you when you refer to them as a pensioner. You know, they're people. <laughs> Aussie miners told, but they're but they're people, and to them, they're useless eaters. They're objects, and they're not in the quote workforce. So, um, you know, they need to go. So, and all those people that are you know around my age in their thirties, you know. There, a lot of them aren't going to have jobs. There's not going to be any replacements. You know, there's not going to be any uh, more jobs created. So those people need to go as well. So that's why it's, unless you have a job to pay for all the um, eugenics care, you know, all the effects of the eugenics, the side effects, unless you can, unless you can pay for that, you're just going to die off. So Aussie miners told death is, an only, is the only excuse for not working on Christmas. I just saw another article about McDonald's is telling their franchises to stay open on Christmas. Miners who don't show up to work on uh, Christmas holiday and New Year period um, and copper and gold mine in Western Australia are being threatened with major fines and pay cuts. Obama caving on Social Security. We know what Social Security was instituted for originally. It wasn't really to help people. It... Um, was to go straight to the Federal Reserve to help pay off uh, bankruptcy. It says here, Federal, uh, President Obama is bending over way too much to reach a budget deal. It goes on here and it, sees the, it says that, in fact, he's agreed to cut benefits of seniors because the new CPI index doesn't go up as fast as a traditional measure. As a result, every year, seniors will receive less than otherwise 
uh, would receive from Social Security. It says it's not like they're getting rich. As it is, the average monthly check is 1200 That's less than fifteen grand a year. So it says here, now Grandma and Grandpa aren't even going to be able to keep up with the rate of inflation as traditionally calculated. So talking about forcing seniors to make do with less. So see, just like the UK, it's all the same. Nation's largest raw milk dairy sues FDA over interstate ban. Organic Pastures, the nation's largest raw milk dairy, has launched a lawsuit against the U.S. FDA for allegedly turning its back on the dairy's request for the agency to change its current law banning sales of raw milk across state lines. South Carolina lawmakers propose a five-year jail sentence for Obamacare implementation. Federal officials could face fines and jail terms under proposed legislation. So this is a nice little watered-down propaganda piece. Nullification is yet again picking up Steen and Dixie. Now, according to the Constitution, Bill of Rights and all that, they can do this, right? Pursuing an archaic legal theory that punctuated pre-Civil War disputes between federal government and states, South Carolina representative last week pre-filed a bill for the coming legislative session that would criminalize the implementation of this Obama uh, basically forced, uh, forced private insurance on people. So Obama should know this because he supposedly had his little uh, major or whatever it was, his degree in constitutional theory or whatever the heck it was. Uh, it says here, it's an obligation I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution to protect the people, said this uh, individual who's proposing it. They come in here and fix it by saying, they get you all excited. I feel very good about this word. Ah, great, right? Something's going to happen. UCLA law professor uh, Mr. Volokh, however, told the U.S. News that the proposed law would, quote, be clearly unenforceable because the federal law upheld by the Supreme Court trumps state law. So, you know, this is the same type of concept or mentality uh, that, uh, like, Lincoln and the Union had back then, where you had the right to secede, but, you know, if you try doing it, well, then they'll just start blowing your freaking head off and bringing war to you. Uh, but I, you know, and it says here, but I assume it's meant to make a political statement, not to have any real direct legal effects, so nothing really changes, right? Just some more rhetoric, that's all you hear. Secession petition gets Texas man in trouble with state guard superiors, says his father. He hosted a online petition last month asking the White House to allow uh, Texas to secede. Got 120,000 people rallied behind him. So it says here he had to sign an affidavit swearing that the state guard was not involved and not backing this. Uh, he was also told not to be speaking with reporters. Something that I don't understand. Um is that uh, you're here, you, you uh, fight, you're supposedly in the military to fight for your freedoms, and then when you try to speak out, they say, oh, no, you can't do that. I don't know, I just, I don't really understand that. I mean, that you can't have uh, individuals that can think for themselves, right, and, and decide, well, this is what needs to be done, this is moral, ethical, and this isn't, instead of just following orders, because, you know, if you just follow orders and you start killing women and children and stuff like that, like we covered in the last video, you're going to have, quote, PTSD, right? Uh, that's basically, maybe, I think, possibly, that um, you don't feel comfortable with the mission that you were given. And it's all, it's usually up to the politicians to, uh, to, uh, to, to decide that, right? They just follow orders. But it's pretty obvious. I think we all know that the politicians work for um, for banks mostly and defense contractors and alike complexes, and they don't really work for voters. And you can go out and protest and try that, but like how your jobs are going to China, but it's run by private think tanks and globalists to push this stuff. I mean, in the end, what do you get? Like those troops that got the Gulf War syndrome and stuff like that, people that got um, side effects from anthrax shots that they push on them. Got their legs blown off. Asked about the petition, Perry's press secretary told Dallas Morning News that the governor believes in the greatest of our union and nothing should be done to change it. Legal experts said members of the U.S. military have limited free speech rights under certain circumstances. This spring, the Marine Corps uh, discharged Sergeant Gary Stein after he criticized Obama on Facebook and other websites. A Texas school bans the Confederate battle flag and also covers any imagery deemed to be racially hostile or offensive or intolerant. The Confederate anthem has been known to evoke traditions of proud state and region, a secession here, but also slavery and prejudice. The Southern Poverty Law Center begins new propaganda campaign against liberty-driven organizations. Reason reported that uh, the SPLC basically equated these patriot movements with anarcho-capitalists. 
and potentially dangerous and hateful. This is GGN. Thank you.